No, this is not one of those clickbaity type videos. I indeed did wait two years to get this shot. It took a lot of planning, hard work and patience and for two consecutive miracles to happen at the same time. Find out what they are next. As most of you know who regularly watch my channel, back in 2021, I built myself a bird garden right outside my studio here. And I built that garden because I wanted to photograph local honey eater varieties of birds. Now the bird garden project took me approximately six months to do. And if you haven't seen that video on how I did it all, then I'll leave it at the end of this video so you can check it out a little later on. Okay, so in the planning of the type of plants I was going to put into the garden, well that took a bit of time. I knew the type of birds I wanted to attract, so I had to choose the plants accordingly to the type of food they like to eat. Around the back section near the fence, I planted 13 of these bottle brush callistamons. These flower about twice a year and last about a month in full bloom. They come out in huge clumps of intense yet delicate red flowers and the birds absolutely love them. They're kind of like McDonald's Happy Meals for birds. But I was really wanting just one bird in particular, the rainbow lorikeet. I have photographed these guys before and I'll leave you that video at the end to check out. But there was just one problem with these callistamons. They didn't flower. After two years of waiting, not one single flower and I couldn't work out why. And I started second guessing myself. I was thinking, did I plant the right plants? They were fully grown to two meters, yet nothing. After a bit of investigative work and to get miracle number one to happen, I needed to find out why these guys weren't flowering. It turns out they need a lot of good fertilizer and mulch along with some regular watering just before flowering season. So I thought, what the hey, I'll give it a go. Next thing, in two months time, kaboom, <laughs> callistamon flowers, absolutely everywhere. Oh man, they were so beautiful. Now miracle number two is a little bit tricky. Okay, so the callistamon flowers are flowering but I needed the rainbow lorikeets to find them and start feeding on them. And I needed my gear sitting here ready to pounce the very second I either saw or heard them. Now, those of you who know the rainbow lorikeets, they have the most amazing colored rainbow feathers on their chest. So I come up with this idea where I wanted a frame where I had either one or two of them feeding, but I needed to see their front section, their chest, and I wanted them to be engulfed in these calistamon flowers because I was going for this frame where it was just an absolute color sensation, you know, enough to burn your retinas out. One afternoon while I was having a cup of coffee, I heard this noise and I knew straight away what it was. It was the rainbow lorikeets and I'm pretty sure they were feeding in the calistamon flowers. So I quickly sprinted to my studio, grabbed my Z7 with the 180 to 600 millimeter lens and snuck outside being careful not to startle them. Sure enough, this guy was feeding and wow, just look at those colors with the bird and flowers together. I kept waiting for the shot I really wanted. I needed this guy to show me his chest where all the rainbow colors were. And then it happened. I finally got the shot I planned for, a color sensation of nature in all its glory, filling the entire frame. The thing I really love in life is when you put a lot of hard work into something and you get to see it pay off. I was so fortunate that day, those two miracles come together, 
and I got the shot I really wanted. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time. Thank you.